Hi guys, say it with me now. Welcome back to my channel for another video this week. It has been a last time. It last time it really has been a long time since i've done this it has been a long time since you last saw me and it's just been surprisingly a busy time i think i said that in my last intro i just haven't gotten the chance or the time to especially edit the videos that's really like what the hold up is i guess because i've been shooting a lot of footage and i have a lot of footage of various different apartment things and parts of videos but that's all a very rambly way to say that i am back and i have another video for you guys and it is the long awaited for me at least, because I've been meaning to share this forever, uh, moving out of my last apartment video. So if you don't know whether you're new here or you're not new here and you just haven't seen the updates, which no pressure at all obviously, but I moved out of my last apartment in the Upper East Side. Quick background, I had a studio apartment up there. I've shared a lot of it on the internet. Uh, an apartment tour of that was my first video and it's pretty much how I got into YouTube. So moved out of that space back at the end of July and uh, it has been a... I can't believe it's October now, basically. <laughs> While I was in the process of moving out, I filmed a lot of footage, packing up. Part of the reason I especially wanted to make this is because I know a lot of people would or do have questions about all the different DIYs that I did. Um, there was like backsplash and I did temporary floors in the kitchen, several wallpapers. So um, I do go over in this video a little bit of how I took them off or removed them. So I'm just gonna stop talking now. <laughs> That's basically uh, what you're gonna see in this video. There are some changes going on, both in my physical space and then just kind of in my life right now. So hopefully you'll hear some more changes and updates soon. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to, to continue sharing with you guys and I miss this a lot. So thanks for everyone who stuck with me. And um, if you're not already and you want to, feel free to A, subscribe, but B, also follow me on Instagram because I do update a little more there and I've been sharing a few sneak peeks of my new apartment, which you can barely see behind me, but I am on a new couch. All right, hope you guys enjoy. So I don't know when I'm exactly gonna use this footage, but I'm just filming everything for right now. Today is my first day of packing up my apartment to move, which is absolutely crazy. I feel like I've been procrastinating it all day. If you guys have seen my last video i was shooting something one last hurrah in my apartment today so that's partially why i haven't like fully dove into packing and i need to keep it intact until tomorrow actually for some of it at least but today i'm gonna start i think with my kitchen and maybe a little bit in my closet so this is so weird let's get into it We are officially entering the five day countdown. I feel like I still have so much to do and pack and I like barely have started. Gonna try to tackle a lot today. Five day countdown, here we go. Packing, decluttering, taking shit down, taking shit off the walls. Maybe even taking down my wallpaper. We'll see, maybe I'll leave that up all week. All right, let's get to it. Also, kicking off my farewell food tour of the Upper East Side, Levain Cookie. And I actually ended up just getting some iced tea also, but that is what I'm munching on right now. And I have three, almost four boxes packed so far. This one, there's like a little room at the top. Not even that late it's 11:09, which for me does not really feel that late i'm gonna do one more so i have an empty box ready to go here and i'm gonna try to get the rest of my like fragile stuff in it so like i have some mugs and bowls and things like that left and then fill up the rest of the box with just like whatever i can hopefully maybe the rest of the kitchen stuff and try to get all of that squared away today Mm-hmm. 
Hello, we are four days out from the move. I don't know if you can hear that right now, but it is pouring. Oh my God. We got out just in time, lady. Getting to packing up, hopefully the rest of my boxes that I already have today. I have seven out and started or finished. I only have one that's still open. And I have about that much space left. Ignore this at the top. So I'm actually gonna fill it up with makeup. I started going through my beauty drawers yesterday and I honestly am probably getting most of, getting rid of most of the makeup that I have uh, just cause I wanna downsize and I really don't wear that much of what's in my makeup collection. And when I move this credenza is most, more that it is gonna be like a communal item in the living room instead of in like my own space. Hoping to get through the rest of my three boxes so that I can plan on how many boxes, more boxes I'm gonna need and you know, buy them accordingly. Here we go, four days out. Quick note. So when I do this and I have command strips on things and I'm moving, I do like to leave them on if they're not like, you know, on their last leg because then you don't have to waste another one when you put them back up in your next space or next time. So just a tip, that might be really obvious, but. Okay. Now for a moment that I feel like a lot of people aren't gonna be interested in. I'm taking down this wallpaper and I feel like people always wanna know what it looks like to take this stuff off. I took my, it's pretty easy as you can see. I took my uh, bathroom wallpaper off a few weeks ago now and I just peeled it straight off. But another trick if you're worried about the wallpaper taking off your drywall or your sheetrock with it, um, I'm gonna show you the hairdryer trick thing. So easy way to do this. You want to warm up the glue, so get your hair dryer. And basically you just use it on here. And it should help it peel off super easily. I will say though, this wallpaper I buy for a reason and I buy it because of the material that it is. It's a little bit hard to explain, but just you can kind of tell that the adhesive isn't going to be too sticky. Whereas I feel like with certain things you can tell, you're like, oh my gosh, if this goes on the wall, it is not coming off or goes on any surface, whatever. Yeah, so I felt pretty confident choosing this wallpaper. And that's also why I love Natalie. I'll have her linked at her shop. All my wallpapers in here, besides the bookshelf wallpaper, were from her. So, I mean, now that I have this started, it really is just going to come right off. I think it also probably maybe depends on the surface of your walls and how it feels to begin with, but for me at least in this scenario, it's coming off super easy. I like to fold it in towards itself too because then it doesn't like, stick to you as you're trying to uh, take it off. That happened to me when I did my bathroom, so. And as you can see, there's literally no damage to the walls at all. It's like completely not sticky whatsoever. No residue. Perfectly clean. Removable wallpaper, guys. There you go. Good morning. It's the afternoon, but either way. Three day countdown. We've made it. Uh, I have to take the rest of the stuff off my walls pretty much this is all that's left and but um i think my super is coming today to like check everything off because he's not going to be here the actual day i move out so he just wants to like do the little do you get your security deposit check back so hopefully we should be good the incoming tenant confirmed that they want to leave on the peel and stick backsplash and the uh contact paper on the countertops in my kitchen so i should be good there and i'm just going to take off the floorboards and I took off the wallpaper last night, so let's take down the dot wallpaper. This is so sad. So actually just a quick fun fact here, because I have to take out uh, down the treat yourself sign first. Someone's buying it on Friday. So you have to, for this to work, have these wires not touching, like they can't be crossed or anything. So I set it up as I wanted it, and then the wires are actually really long, and I had a ton of extra room, so I electrical taped them to the wall behind the couch, and that's how they've been for the entire time. Now I'm gonna remove that. Hello, hi, 
Hi, good morning. It's probably the afternoon by now actually, but today is the like final day. We have one day left until I move. I move tomorrow, so this is my last day to pack up and be in this space. It's gonna be my last night here tonight as well, which is crazy to think about. I didn't film anything yesterday because I honestly just like didn't have a good day. I just like didn't feel like packing any boxes. All I did was head down to Home Depot and pick up five more. That's really all I need. Um, maybe not even that, I think at least. So that's gonna be what I'm focusing on today. So far I've met up with two people to sell stuff from my Instagram apartment sale and also my couch is getting picked up and purchased today which is very exciting. So I'll have more space to like put the boxes against the wall or whatever. I'm just getting my couch good to go to leave and I'll probably after that round up all the stuff that is going to either be donated or go to Goodwill. Just getting ready to get on out of here. It's crazy. <music> in so my couch is gone my puppy is here one of my old bosses bought it i was originally going to sell it to this furniture company like resale company called kayo that makes the process super easy this sounds like an ad and it's not but basically like they just come and pick it up and it's like very seamless and then it's like on consignment so i ended up just doing this because i got as much as i probably would have gotten after their fees for my cut and it went to someone i know and it was just easy and I got the money now. Things are moving right along. All my boxes are put together, if that makes sense. Like I don't have any that still need to be put together. So I'm just like working on filling them up. I have a big list of all the stuff that still needs to get uh, put away or packed or given away or like w what's happening with it so that I just have like a high level. Wow, I really sound like I'm talking about work right now. <laughs> just so I have like a, an overview of um, what to expect. It's feeling very echoey in here. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's like 5 p.m. right now, so I'm gonna order some sushi. The pup is about to eat her dinner, and then we'll keep packing. Good morning. Today is the day we are moving. We're leaving. It looks really crazy, obviously, but now that like I don't really have to use any more of the stuff that I have, I can really just like work on throwing it in boxes and getting those packed up, and then I think we should be good. Okay, all my boxes are officially closed. It doesn't mean I'm done packing, but they're all um, taped up and now movers should be here really any minute and then I'm gonna figure out the rest as I go. There they are. Oh my God, they literally moved. There's a moped there that they picked up and moved onto the street. I doubt you're gonna be able to see, but this is very funny. Good spot though. All right, so now I'm just here in my empty apartment with June and uh, we're waiting for my friend Temi to come pick us up, Temi and Kane. They've been spending the last like hour just kind of wrapping things up. I had to just like empty out the fridge. There's all that stuff. It's either going to Goodwill. And yeah, there's just some leftover stuff too that I need to pack in my suitcase right here. So I'm just going to do that and then uh, we'll be good. The puppy. Here she is. She looks so small. Look how small it looks. Crazy. Okay, so that's it. The end of an era at Chateau Spicy Curry 1.0. I just wanted to close out the video because I forgot to do that when I was filming all of this footage back in july now which is crazy because it's october i did just want to wrap it up and and do like a quick little sappy reflection time together because that apartment changed my life in a lot of ways and i'm so grateful and um it's wild and i don't know i have a lot of feelings about it and i just 
wouldn't be doing this right here and I wouldn't have gotten so many different opportunities that I've gotten that have been amazing and literally unreal without that space and without sharing that space on the internet and then having people find it and watch it and connect in whatever way and um, you know follow me obviously but that's never what it's been about and I'm just really grateful and I never thought I would be getting to do this any of this different stuff or really just getting to make so many connections via the internet that have been amazing people have turned into my real life friends because of the first video that I shared of my apartment I don't think I ever would have done it without that space that's all to say that I am really thankful for you guys uh, I think over probably one and a half million people have seen the inside of my apartment now my old one which is crazy to think about but for everyone who has found me found that video left a comment even if you haven't been that nice it's okay I really 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 appreciate it and I am so thankful that um, that that exists and uh, it's all because of that little space and um, that's awesome so thank you guys so much for watching I hope to see you ASAP hopefully within the next two weeks I keep that in mind okay um, Thanks guys, bye.